tonight. I've really enjoyed listening to your ideas and having the chance to express some of my own. I, I've met many of you on past occasions. I can't believe it's been almost a whole year since I collaborated with the Social Planning Council in a uh, pre-budget discussion to gather ideas for our federal budget. So thank you very much for that. Um, I want to uh, tell you a little bit about myself. I've lived in Kitchener all of my life, and I care a great deal about the people that I have worked with and met over the years. Many, many people have left their mark on me deeply, in my heart, uh, from Jamie, who I remember and have represented in court many years uh, during his multi-year fight with addiction, to Earl, whose generous enthusiasm uh, has not been enough to keep him out of homelessness uh, to many of the children, the sad children that I've represented from uh, the local group homes. Uh, all of these people have left me with uh, gifts uh, which I am very grateful for, so grateful in fact that I devote every ounce of my strength to serving our community out of respect for the people that I have met and uh, learned to love over the years. Uh, we face a lot of problems, not just in Canada generally or in our community, but the, even around the world, we could say, whether it's uh, poverty or violence or uh, abuse of uh, power. Uh, everyone in this room, I know, understands that the roots of these problems are complex and that there are no simplistic, easy answers to any of the problems that we've been discussing tonight. And yet, at election time, so many people demand easy, simplistic answers and solutions. And so many politicians are willing to offer up easy, simplistic solutions. Let me just give you one example of what I mean by that. Borrowing money to solve our problems. On the surface, it sounds fun to improve our present circumstances by borrowing $30 billion or more over the next three years. But when we think about it even a little bit, we realize that sooner or later, that $30 billion must be paid back. When we think about it even a little more, we realize that to borrow that $30 billion over three years means paying about $2 billion in interest charges to people who are wealthy enough to lend money to the government. And that money could be used for affordable housing or refugee uh, resettlement or immigration processing. It's just not sensible. It's not prudent. The present government has increased infrastructure spending to historic high levels. It has increased health and social transfers to the provinces to historic high levels. It has not cut any support payments to individuals. 
And it has done all of that while reducing taxes and eliminating the deficit, weathering the toughest global recession in 80 years, and ongoing global uncertainty. It's a record to be proud of. We can't afford to toss away these achievements for increased taxes or more borrowing or big spending. On October 19th, I need your help. Please vote for Stephen Woodward. Thank you. I got something to say, oh please, Carol, just let me talk, oh, oh.